God bless you, everybody, and welcome to the Ladder Glory Church. Yes, welcome to the Ladder Glory Church, where we love God, where we learn to grow, where we live glorious, and we light the globe. We are the Ladder Glory Church. My name is Elder Matthew A. Talley, and I am so excited to welcome you to our Wednesday Word Encounter. Before we even get into it, I want you to pause where you are, and I want you to press like. I want you to share this broadcast. I want you to copy the link on YouTube and text it to everybody you know, because we know that tonight is going to be a powerful move of God. And of course, we want you to subscribe. Subscribe and hit that little bell button on the side so that you get notifications every time that we go live here for service. And I am so excited because this is a special edition of our Wednesday Word Encounter. For those who may not know, Wednesday Word Encounter is our weekly fellowship service, our weekly Bible study, prayer, worship, word service, where God meets us as we learn more about him, more about his word, and we learn to grow. And so I'm excited about what's happening tonight because we get to experience what happened on Sunday. Listen, this past Sunday, the first Sunday of December in 2023, we had a praise party at the Ladder Glory Church. It began with our pre-show with Swag in the Morning, with Evangelist Deborah, where, where, where she welcomed us into the service. And then we went into prayer. Then we went into worship. Then we had communion. And then our pastor took the podium and he began to sing songs of praise. We began to join together and we began to give God praise and praise filled the temple. And you know what the Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people. So not only did praise fill the room, but God filled the room. And our pastor, Apostle Derek Etienne Sr., preached a mighty word, an exhortation based upon Psalm 34, which is 1 through 10. And so we're going to replay that tonight. We're going to enjoy his presence tonight because I know that the same glory that blessed blessed us on Sunday, will bless us tonight. So I want you to make sure, again, like, share, subscribe, make sure everybody knows that we're live because God has a blessing with your name on it. And you know what I love about watching replays? I love the fact that I can watch a replay and hear something that I didn't hear the first time. I see something that I didn't see the first time. And I sense something that I may have not sensed the first time. And last time I might've gotten one thing, but this time God has something fresh and something new. So I want you to buckle your seatbelt, stay locked in because God has something to say to us. And as always, if you'd like to sow a seed into this ministry, I, I invite you to do so because I know that praise waters seed. Can I say that again? Praise waters waters seed. So as you sow, even before the service starts, I want you to put a seed in the ground of whatever amount, whatever it is, I believe God is going to bless your seed as you praise God for the harvest that is to come. So you have several options. You have Cash App, Giftify, PayPal. Feel free to sow into this ministry, sow into your harvest, because I know that the praise that's about to break out on this live is going to water that seed and bring more than you could ever imagine. All right. So you you ready? Let's go into the service. Let's go into praise because I know God is going to bless us. Let's go into the service. Come on, clap those hands and give them praise in the sanctuary. Yeah. All right, listen. So, hey God, so I guess I was, I, I guess I was in the spirit when the Lord gave me a thought for today. It's just a thought, it can't be a sermon after this. It's, but the thought came from Psalms 34, that I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth my soul shall make her boast in the Lord and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad oh magnify the Lord with me 
and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and they were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. Why? Because this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord encampeth around them that fear him and he delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Can you take 30 seconds and give him a crazy praise? I said a crazy praise. you don't know what a crazy praise is a crazy praise is verse number one that I'll bless them at all times watch this the crazy praise is when my situation don't make sense when it looks like everything around me seems to be going wild and I don't even know what my next step is a crazy praise is when I just lose my mind and I lose myself and get lost in his presence. Can someone forget about your situation for one minute and bless the Lord at all times? Give him a praise right now. Y'all better stand with her. Because the presence of God is on her. It looks crazy, but I'll praise him. It don't feel right, but I'll praise him. Don't have the money, but I'll praise him. Things are going wild, but I'll praise him. Stuff is happening I didn't know of, but I'm not, I'm gonna praise him. Yeah. Now listen, keep that beat there. I can't give a real sermon and exegete the text, but I have to say something so that we know that we left here edified. First thing you gotta remember about today, because of the blood that was shed and his body that was broken, first thing you need to know, Praise is my priority. It said it in verse 1. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I know stuff look crazy, but I will bless the Lord. I know my heart is heavy, but I will bless the Lord. I know my mind isn't quite functioning with clarity, but I will bless the Lord. Praise is a priority. Give God 30 seconds of a prioritized praise. All right. Y'all sound like y'all came to praise. Okay, listen. Praise is a priority. I will bless him. But praise, number two, produces 
participation. I can't just praise him with my whole heart and it not affect somebody close to me. <laughs> praise produces participation. Let me give you the scripture. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Somebody who don't mind participating with praise with me, give him 30 seconds of a together unified praise. Praise him. Praise him in the dance. Praise him with your hands. Praise him with your voice. Praise him. I'm going to 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 praise him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, listen. Number three. This poor man cried and the Lord heard me and delivered me from all my fears whatever I was afraid of whatever I didn't have the courage of he delivered me from fear watch this the angel of the Lord is around them that fear him and that seek him so your point number three is it if we on three praise is your protection I said praise is your protection the angel of the Lord is protecting you from whatever the enemy thought would send your way take 30 seconds and praise God for protection the devil tried it but he can't get to my heart the devil tried it but he won't break up my family the devil tried it but I won't lose my mind praise is my protection Ah, yeah. Hey. All right, two more and I'm done. The Bible said, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. So, wait a minute, it's a crazy praise when everything don't look good but i've tasted and i found that he is good so number four praise produces perspective i see things differently when i praise my situation looks bad but my god is good my situation looks messed up but my god is good so my perspective is, this too shall pass. Somebody give God praise if your perspective is changing. Ah, yeah. Oh, taste and see, the Lord is good. 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 Oh taste, oh, taste and see, the Lord is good. Oh, taste and see, oh, taste and see. the Lord is good. The situation is oh, bad, but God is good. Situation look crazy, but God is good. The devil thought he tried, but God is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. All right, last one. Last one and I'm done. Y'all been praying for a short message today. <laughs> Listen, the scripture says, last verse 9 and 10. For if you fear the Lord, you saints, there is no want to them that fear him. You didn't hear what I said. There is no want to them that fear him. Wait a minute. God promised he would supply all your need. Day 
David comes from a different perspective. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And he says here that if you fear the Lord, there is no want to them that fear him. Young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. So your last point is, praise secures my provision. Did you hear me? I said praise secures my provision. Whatever you seem to be lacking, you serve Jehovah Jireh, the God that can provide. Somebody give God praise for your needs and your wants being secure. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. Come on and praise him. Come on and magnify him. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him praise. Give him praise. I've got to praise him. 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 Magnify the Lord with me. I've got to praise Let us exalt his name together. I've got to praise him. I won't fear. I've got to praise him. I won't worry. I've got to praise him. God is good. I've got to praise him. Oh, taste and see. I've got to praise him. The Lord is good. I've got to praise him. 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 He's been good. I've got to praise him. He's been good. I've got to praise him. 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 God is good. I've got to praise him. God is good. I've got to praise him. So I'm gonna praise him. I've got to praise him. I've got to praise him. I've got to praise him. Now give him your best praise in the sanctuary. Thank you for the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. So, so that we can keep it all in perspective and we can leave here understanding and knowing what we're praising him for. Jesus, I'll never forget what you have done for me. I will never forget how you set me free I'll never forget how you brought me out so his body that was broken his blood that was shed brought me out of darkness to the marvelous light and it doesn't matter what situation I find myself in if I remember what Jesus has done if I think on the goodness of Jesus if I can taste and see that the Lord is good and begin to praise and magnify him hallelujah not only is praise my priority not only does praise it excite a participation for somebody to bless God with me not only would praise produce a different perspective not only would praise be my protection but praise ushers me into my provision so the crazy praise is the praise when it don't make sense <laughs> hallelujah and if everybody knew what you came to church with today but saw how you were praising them they would say it just don't make sense look at somebody and just say I've got a crazy praise it's a, it don't make sense to people it don't make sense they have no clue they have no idea of what I've been going through, what I've been dealing with, what I've been praising through, what I've been shouting through, what I've been dealing with, what, what I've been perplexed with, the weight I've been carrying, what's on my shoulders. They have no idea, but I praise them anyway. That's crazy. Hallelujah. And I love it when the devil thinks I'm crazy. Hallelujah. Because he thought what he sent our way 
was going to keep our mouths closed. He thought what he sent our way would make us not clap, make us not shout, make us not lift. But somebody in here has lost their mind. I said somebody in here has lost their mind and has picked up the mind of Christ. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually in the good time in the bad time in the hard time in the best of times in the worst of times I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise will continually continually repeatedly hallelujah consistently it don't matter what I'm going through it don't matter what I feel like it don't matter how tired I am I know how tired he was when he hung on the cross and he finished what he started so I'm gonna bless him at all times and his praise will continually be in my mouth So, Father, we thank you because the world would see this sanctuary and think that it's an insane asylum <laughs> because we're in here and it seems like we've lost control, like we've lost control of our thoughts and our emotions and we're just, it seems like we, we, we've got th some difficult things in our life and if the, if the devil hallelujah was the flash on the screens some of the turmoil that we've been facing on this week we look crazy to be praising right now if the devil was the flash on the screen the attacks that have come against us this year where he thought we have a reason not to praise him but because of what we cannot forget what you have done for us and of what we have praised in here today, we seem crazy because we've lost our minds, but we picked up the mind of Christ. In all things, we give thanks. So Father, this crazy praise Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The reason why this was called a crazy praise is because David was in a messed up situation and he changed his character to preserve his life. The Bible said that he acted crazy, acted like a madman because if they knew who David was, the enemy would have wiped him out based on his victories. So he chose to act crazy and out of character from what they normally expected. And it saved his life. David was in a cave when this psalm was written. That's why praise number one, point number one, praise is a priority, meaning that he chose to change the expected character. It's expected that you be silent because of what you're facing. It's expected that you don't say nothing because of what you're going through. It's expected that you don't have to open up your mouth because you're going through a whole lot. But David was intentional of changing and being the opposite of what the enemy thought he would do. And that's what made it a crazy praise. I know it's been crazy this week, this month, for some this year. And if the enemy had his way, you'd just be silent. But you tasted and you saw how good he is. And therefore, you make a choice and a priority. It's going to look crazy because especially if people know what I've been going through. It's going to look crazy. 
but I'm going to praise you in a way. So, Father, for those of us who are in some crazy situations, who've gone through some crazy things, heard some crazy news, craziness at work, craziness in our families, craziness with our partners that, have, that we work with that are in our businesses, craziness just all around us. But we choose to praise you because we will never forget of how you brought us through even crazier situations before. <clears throat> so Father, we praise you knowing that you are, thank you Holy Spirit, the source of our strength that enables us to praise you when we don't feel like it, when we don't know what to do next. But we lift up our voice and we magnify you. So I pray that you strengthen us right now, God. Let praise be our priority. Let praise be our portion. Let praise be our protection. Let praise provide for us the strength we need to get through the most difficult times of our life. So we lift you up right now because you are the source of our strength. You, you are the source of my strength and you are the strength of my life. You The source of my strength, Lord. You are the source of my strength. When I don't know what else to do, you're the strength of my life. You are the strength of my life. So I'll lift my hand. Come on, lift it to him, lift it to him, lift it to him, lift it to him. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Amen means it is so. It means that it is so I agree that the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. Hey. Amen. God, we magnify you, God. Oh, you're the source of our strength, the strength of our life. We bless you, we magnify you, we exalt you, we extol you today. to move on and then I don't I don't even know what else what to do in this moment this uh, which means I shouldn't do anything it's let let him do it right now let him do it right now come on for somebody who's seeking him somebody who's 
whatever got a craziness going on this is he's your source he's your source he's your source come on don't don't let this moment pass you by don't let this moment pass you by but offer something to him now offer something to him now the fruit of your lips the fruit of your lips let us offer the sacrifice of praise continually hallelujah hallelujah you are good you are good i know it looks bad but you are good you are the source of my life you are the strength of my life hallelujah you're protecting us you're protecting us you're providing for us you're healing us you're delivering us we praise you in advance for what you're doing we've already blessed you for what you've already done we can never forget what you've already done we're praising you for what you're doing right now but now we're we're, we're moving into our future with this this final praise is going into our future we, we already said we'll never forget what you've done our past we said that we'll bless you right now you are the source of my strength our present but father this final praise is going into our future for the days that are ahead of us for our 2024 you're already making crooked places straight you're already opening doors you're already making ways we thank you in advance in jesus name amen come on and clap your hands and give god the praise in the sanctuary hallelujah you can be I will bless the Lord at all times. I don't know about you, but I got joy right now. <laughs> I got my dance out again. I got my praise out again. And I don't know about y'all, but I've taken everything that was declared in the room. I took everything that our pastor said. And I thank God for praise. I thank God for the crazy praise because the fact that you're praising in the midst of what you're going through, that's crazy. And I I believe that God is going to use our praise to push us through all of our trials and all of our tests. And I believe he's faithful to inhabit that praise and bless your life. Were you blessed tonight? I know you were just like I was. And tonight, I don't want you to leave this place. I don't want you to leave this moment without sowing a seed into this word. Listen, I believe that you can't pay for the word of God. You can't pay for what God did. But I know that we can sow seed into good ground. That praise watered the soil. It prepared the soil to receive your seed. And if you put seed before the service started, like we said at the beginning, your praise watered that seed. So make sure you don't leave this place without sowing something. Doesn't have to be great. Doesn't have to be small. Whatever God puts on your heart, I want you to sow. So right here, again, we have Cash App, Dollar Sign, Ladder Glory 1. We have Givelify. Download the app. You can search us up at the Ladder Glory Church. And then there PayPal. You can give to us via our email, ladderglorychurchinfo at gmail.com, and we will be happy to receive your seed and pray over it so that we can be in agreement with you for everything you're believing God for. Amen. So thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your giving. Let's recite our tithe and offering affirmation. Let's do it together. Father, we now come to freely and joyfully give our tithes and offering. We stand upon your word that you will open up the floodgates of heaven and pour out a blessing that we don't have room enough to receive. And you'll rebuke the enemy so he cannot destroy. We are living in the now faith. And in all areas of our lives, we have total victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Go ahead and sow your seed. And I believe God that you will receive a harvest in Jesus name. Again, we want to thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for being a part of our Wednesday word encounter. I believe that you were blessed and I encourage you don't leave your praise on the live. Hallelujah. Don't leave your praise on YouTube, but take your praise after this is over. Praise them through the evening. Praise them tomorrow. Praise them for the rest of the week because I know that you will be abundantly blessed through your praise. Amen. Well, we'll see you right back here on Sunday morning. We'll be live on YouTube and on Facebook on Sunday morning, and we believe that God's going to bless us even more. 
also want to announce that this Sunday we have Impact Children's Ministry. Woo! Impact Children's Ministry. So bring your children, bring your babies up until 12 years old so that they can come downstairs and they'll receive a word from God on their level. We'll have snacks, we'll have games, we'll have activities for them to come in and enjoy. So bring your babies, bring your kids with you so that they can be blessed by the word of God. And we'll also have live children's ministry right here on YouTube at 12 p.m. on Sunday for your, for your children to take advantage of and to enjoy and to grow from. So stay tuned for all of that awesome stuff. We believe that God's going to bless your life. And we can't wait to see you right here at the Ladder Glory Church. And I know being online is great, but there's nothing like being in the house. So I invite you to join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., 1.32 Lafayette Street in Patterson, New Jersey at 10 a.m. Come on down and let's praise the Lord together. Let's receive his word together and let's grow together because there's a place for you. There's a spot just for you. All right. We love you so much on behalf of our pastor, Apostle Derek Etienne Sr. and our first lady, Lady Shimon Etienne, our executive pastor, Pastor Sean Clark, all the elders, ministers, deacons of Latigo Way Church and the membership. We love you so much. And there's nothing you can do but love us back. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for all that you've done all that you've said. Thank you for meeting us on this live. And we know that our lives will never be the same. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. To him be glory in the church through Christ Jesus for all generations forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. We love you. Have a glorious night.